Hi, this is Fars and welcome back to Farsalusi and today we are gonna tackle a tricky but exciting Photoshop scale. Selecting and masking hair. Hair can be tough to isolate but with a few simple techniques you will be able to make it look natural and realistic. So let's uncover some pro tips to make your hair selection seamless and clean. So this is our picture today and I want to remove the background by selecting here and the subject and place it on this background okay. So I put the background layer just beneath the subject layer. Now you need to select the subject you can select from here too but I want to recommend it just select any selection tool and you will find the option select and mask hair just hit it okay and you will find something like this okay come into the uh, preview option you will find different preview uh right now uh, let's go with the overlay okay and now hit the select subject option okay look at this i think photoshop has done a great job here just few areas uh we need to fix but i think uh yeah Photoshop has done a good job. Now you can change the preview uh, by selecting on your skin. You can see a real time view here with your background. You can decrease or increase uh, the transparency from here. Okay, you can uh, see it on white and also, okay. Right now, the white area is only visible, only selected area here, okay so this is on black background okay different uh, preview we can just experiment with all this now come into the refine mode option okay there are two options actually color error and object error by default the object error is selected but now let's see what this say object error is best choice for hair or far on complex background right and the color error they say best choice for simple or contrasting background so tell me what is the best option for this picture of course it's color error right so hit the color error okay let's change the it to black and uh, it to black background so you can see the difference okay let's uh, go with object error again okay so this is the object here look closely look at the edges and this is the color error look at this this is not right lot of hairs are gone but with the color error look at this it looks nice the selection is better with the color error right so I recommended you to choose color error in this type of picture okay you can just stop uh, experiment with your picture it's very easy and uh, not time consuming too okay that's fine now I wanna hit the refine hair option just hit it and look at this now it's even better okay now come to the shift as option actually it will help you to add some area or remove some areas right like this if you uh, look at this if you increase it it will look like this it's not what we want okay so maybe in some cases you need to reduce the age value or you need to increase it so it depends on your picture right now I think uh, for my picture it looks perfect I don't want to increase or decrease maybe decrease a little but uh, okay leave it to zero percent for this picture okay now another option decontaminate colors it will help you to control the unnecessary halos okay so look at this active the decontaminate colors and see the result look at this the halos are gone but I think the intense is too much here so decrease it around uh, maybe 50 to 60 percent let's go with 55 maybe 
and it looks perfect so it looks really really good okay but there are a few areas you need to fix these areas so for this the last option go to the refine as brush tool select this one and just paint over those areas you need to fix it's very simple and easy just take your time and paint over the edges maybe or over those areas that you want to fix so that's it i think it looks nice okay let's go to the view option and see with the real background and look at the result it looks really really great isn't it look at this this is so so great okay now coming to the output to select this option new layer with layer mask okay so it will come with another layer with the layer mask so now hit ok and this is your subject look at this it looks really great okay now for further fine tuning press and hold option or alter key and hit the layer mask so you can see the selected areas here okay and look at the edges very carefully if you want to fix the edges if you find some uh, distracted halos you can fix it from here okay but i think photoshop has done a great job in my cases maybe here you will uh, see some artifacts maybe artifacts or just halos i think photoshop has done a great job here i actually don't uh, say anything but i'll show you how to uh, fix the unnecessary halos if you find it there okay select the brush tool make sure you have selected the mask okay change the blending mode to overlay foreground color black and let's decrease the opacity of flow to maybe five percent okay so let's go with five percent okay makes the brush smaller and paint on the edges that you want to fix okay okay maybe here a little let's look at this i'm increasing the flow a little bit to make it faster but i don't recommend you to use over four or five okay so this is how you can control the distracted halos so i think this is fine so it's done i guess so again press and hold option or all key and click on the mask and now you can see the result okay let's try with different color background look at this it's on white background it looks just perfect you can see the edges it looks just perfect look at this with the red background and it looks really really great even with the darker background it looks perfect look at this with the black background it looks just perfect so that's it now you can just uh, add some color grading to mask with the subject or add a shadow here and there that's done so that's the process you can easily select your hairs i think uh, that's a pretty complex selection right <laughs> but we can uh, do it uh, pretty easily with the simple techniques 
So I hope you love this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe.